Hey everybody, this is Dr. Courtney Pegram and welcome to day 17 of Quarantine Parenting. Yay! No, we're not thinking that, right? It's been difficult, um, especially if you're at your fourth week of being um, at home, working remotely and homeschooling. So my heart goes out for you and I'm here for you. So this week I really wanted to focus, I keep doing this, focus on focusing. So the topic of the week is focus. So I find that especially where we are right now, we often get distracted, we have a gazillion things going on, and I've noticed with my clients that they're schedule, they're over scheduling themselves, which is really like almost strange, but it makes total sense, right? You, you, you don't think that you have to go to a meeting, you don't have to walk there, so you book meetings back to back to back. And it's hard to stay focused, because if you're leaving something and directly transitioning into something else, with no time, no break, no space in your mind before you move on, you're thinking about the last thing and now you're like, you're getting a little anxious or overwhelmed because you have more things coming forward. So by the time you end your day, you might feel like you did nothing or nothing on your task list got accomplished. It's that busyness. So if we can implement some strategies to stay focused, it can help us alleviate some of that sense of being overwhelmed, some of the anxiety we're feeling and we can also be more prepared and ready, mindful, intentional in our actions because we're not over scheduling ourselves. So with that said, it's really important to figure out, well, what does focus mean to you? So when we're trying to figure out how do I focus more? How do I get my child to focus more? The first thing is defining the term. What does focus mean to you? What does that look like? What does that feel like? And ideally, if you're focused, what are you doing? What's going on? What are you trying to accomplish? Right? So what are some habits that you want to develop to keep you focused? So defining the, ther the, the term is really important, especially for children, because often we think we're on the same page with our child, and then we realize they don't even know what that, that word means. So defining the term for yourself and your child can really open some light on what is going on and why they're so busy, they're not focused, they can't sit down for long periods of time. Which brings me to my next strategy. Figure out when you, and then your children, when is their focus time? When is their like sweet spot that they are really like intentional, they're engaged, they're doing an activity, a lesson? Find that time. That's when you wanna do the hardest part of their day and your day, or what requires the most focus for you to accomplish a task. So for me, it's either, well, let's be honest, it's not early mornings anymore. <laughs> it used to be, now it's in the evening. So after I'm done homeschooling, you know, I'm on my second win, that's when I get focused, right? And I can spend two or three hours with some breaks that I can really knock out some work. So that's when my creative juices start flowing, I can get content out, I can write curriculums, and I feel really present and mindful. It's later at night. So find your sweet spot and then find your child's sweet spot and try to, that's when you want to maximize what they need to do in that time, right? So that we're not over scheduling. So another point that I, I, I really wanna talk about is in that um, sweet spot, find how much time you can actually stay focused on one task. Is it 15, 30, 45 minutes? Is it an hour? So that you're not, Taking, you're not like planning out an hour, but it, after 15 minutes, you're doing something else. So it would be no, in increments of 15 minutes, I can be attentive to one thing, then plan and block out your time in 15 minutes. You'll find you'll get more done. You'll be focused on one thing at a time. You'll feel less overwhelmed. So really, sweet spot is during the, which time of the day can I, can I find the most focus? And secondly, how much time is that? So when I need to block out my time, how much time do I realistically want to block? Another thing that's important is when you're time blocking is to always have transition and breaks. For us to be focused in between each task, each lesson, um, each project, or even each meeting, we need to get up and move our bodies. Being like seated at a chair at a kitchen table at our home office for eight hours, not good. Get up. Go upstairs, fill up the dishwasher, do a load of laundry, go walk around the block, 
Take your dog for a walk. You know, find things that we move our bodies. Because when we move our bodies after we've been focused for so long, it re-energizes us. So it's really important. Also, I want to talk about my three points. I've, I've talked about them before when it comes to organizational skills, but I want to bring them back because they apply largely to being focused. For us to be focused, we need to have structure. So that means we know exactly the time allocated for this task. We know what we have to do. We know um, like everything is structured for us, like almost like an outline, right? So then consistency throughout your day, throughout your week, find things that you're doing consistently. That helps like with the focus. Because when we know exactly what's coming up and what's next, we can then let that go and focus on the here and now. Last but not least, repetition. For us to learn a new skill, for us to um, apply and deliver new information, we have to repeat it. If it's verbally writing it down, if it's practicing it, if it's sharing it to someone else. So repetition is key. Same goes for, pract for practicing focus. It's a muscle. So you have to constantly work at it. It doesn't, for some people it comes naturally, but for others, especially if we're so used to multitasking and we've been doing it for years, focus is hard. So start doing little exercises to increase your focus by only being attentive to one thing for 15 minutes. If that's too much, five minutes, right? So one thing at a time. What happens is when we're focused on one thing at a time, we're taking away all that busyness in our mind that, um, and that creates that sense of being overwhelmed and feeling that we're not accomplishing as much as we're setting us, ourselves up to do because we're overscheduled. So weirdly, we're overscheduling ourselves being working remote because we have so much to do, meetings we have to go to, people we need to talk to, and sometimes we end up being in meetings all day and they're back to back to back. So if you can, if you have the power to do that, start putting five to 15 minute breaks between each meeting, even if you have to leave the meeting a little earlier. Same goes from homeschooling. Make sure that the lessons, the time that you set for the lessons, that right after you have a break. It's really important. We need our brains to just like, kind of calm themselves, get ready for the next thing, and then we need our bodies to move more. So those are some tips I wanted to share with you today. Um, we, have an, we have a ton of them, like I'm looking at, right here, I'm looking at my resource sheet. Um, so we're gonna put everything together so you can look over, but I wanted to give you some quick tips for the day um, because my Mondays are always messy. I find myself um, kind of getting caught up, and at the end of the day, sometimes I feel like, what did I even do? So by putting stuff in my, my calendar, double checking it, and really sticking to that structure, I find myself in a better space. I find myself more times throughout the day being focused. And when I get in my sweet spot at night, that's really when I get those creative juices flowing. So I hope this is helpful. If you like this video and you're watching it on YouTube, I think it's smash the like button below and subscribe. I'm stealing that from um, my daughter's YouTube um, channels. I'm trying to get into the the, the YouTube world and I'm really excited about it. So I just wanted to try that line and I think it's pretty, it works, right? <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.